Hi. Um, okay. So I'm Cressa. I invented the shower toga. I invented shower toga for outdoor sporting activities, camping and the beach and Spartan races, etc. So as soon as we found out that lots of our existing shower toga customers who also happen to be frontline heroes were using shower togas to clean up after their, uh, their shift, we decided to start a giant campaign and we offer the 50% off for frontline workers. We are not a medical company. I'm just here to show you how to use the shower toga. So I'm gonna get started and show you what healthcare workers are doing on the front lines to clean up after their shifts before they go into their homes with their families. So you assume you finished a shift, you would come out of your car this is a box that I actually keep in my car for my hiking and running. Um, would be the same thing for after a hospital shift. In here, I have shampoo, conditioner. The shower toga rolls up really tiny. It's real lightweight, but it's very, very high quality. My simple shower, which we sell on our website, that you can attach to a two liter bottle. Now, what we have been told that a lot of healthcare workers are doing that are in colder climates is they're filling this bottle up with warm or hot water at the facility before they go home. So when they get home, they have hot water or they just do this in the parking lot of the hospital. So this is sold on our website also. So now I'm just gonna show you how to use the shower toga. Okay, so you have the shower toga logo on the bottom. You're going to put it on over your uniform, scrubs, whatever it is you wear on the front lines. Now, you remove your top layer. It doesn't matter if you have on a sports bra, regular bra, you're gonna do this the exact same way. You're going to take your top and put it to the side, okay? Your shoes, put them to the side. For men, you're going to wear it around your waist like this, and you have these reach through openings. These reach all the way through, okay? So for men, you just wear it like this, take off your undergarments. For women, you're going to take it, put it up underneath your bra or your sports bra, and lift it right on up. Very easy. Take off your bra or your sports bra, put it to the side. That's like your contaminated pile, potentially. Reach through and remove your pants, undergarments, everything. Again, in your contaminated pile. This is just an extra insurance for women. You can take it, put it behind your head and tighten the toggle. Now, for healthcare workers, you wouldn't want to just put on new clothes on top of this because you haven't gotten your shower toga and your body soapy and wet yet. It's gonna be a very important part of the procedure for healthcare workers. So at this point, you would take your simple shower, it's one option, with the warm water. Or there is an attachment online that we don't sell that you can find by Googling that makes your water garden hose warm water. You attach it to your kitchen sink. It's a super quick, easy adapter. That's what's going on here. So I'm gonna finish showering this hose, but you can also do it with the simple shower. It just depends on your situation. Notice. I'm going to get the inside and the outside of the shower toga completely wet. This is my loofah. Although we're not a medical company, we have worked with the Georgia Pandemic Board on getting shower togas into the hands of healthcare workers. We've had thousands of shower togas go out in the last couple of months. And the recommendation, as far as we have been told, is to scrub down 
your body completely with soap and water. I'm in here scrubbing my legs at this point. Now, when I do this, I'm also cleaning the inside of the shower toga. You get the gist. You keep scrubbing, clean up everywhere you need to clean up, get your entire body soapy and sudsy and wet. You can wash your hair. I wash my hair all the time after I go hiking and running or at the beach. You can wash your hair. You can do everything with this on. I'm not gonna do all that for this video because it'll take too much time. You just keep sudsing up, make sure everything is nice, sudsy and clean, okay? Do all this times five minutes, then I take my loofah, put it in, because you can launder the loofahs. Now, you just rinse off. Notice how I'm pulling it off here. That helps the water go down onto my body. You can also go through the opening here. Wash off the inside of the toga at the same time you're washing your body off. If you're using a simple shower, it's just the exact same procedure. all finished up again usually I wash my hair put on my hair thing I'm not doing that today now drying off basically the shower toga only holds water for a very 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 quick period of time you can see it just wicks away and now it's like drying up you're gonna dry off same way you would normally dry off now to dry off underneath your body reach through Grab your towel, dry off underneath. Dry your back. Take your towel, put it in with your dirty garments. Now, you should be completely clean if you've washed your hair also, which I didn't do for this video. But if you're doing decon, you would want to wash your hair. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to get dressed. You take off your toggle behind your neck, drop it down. For women, if it's a sports bra or a regular bra, doesn't matter, you're gonna do it the exact same way. You pretend like your shower toga is not there. You put it on right over you pull it down. Take whatever shirt you're going to put on or dress, whatever. Throw it on top. Okay. Now, for your pants, I'm going to bet you figured this out already. Put it on. Remember, your side openings are like your best friend. Take it, pull the pants up underneath. Now, it doesn't matter how many people are standing around watching you. After I was on the TV show, The View, I did this in the middle of Times Square, okay? They filmed me running around and I changed clothes in the middle of Times Square. So, not a big deal, especially for safety. When you're finished, you tighten up the, uh, the shower toga at one end, doesn't matter which. Now, this is kind of a cool thing, and your shower toga is going to turn into a bag, okay? Now, right now, your 
shower tub is clean because it's been sudsed up with soap and water and rinsed off. You're going to take your shower toga, take your dirty items, put them into your shower toga. Turn it into a back. Tighten up the other end. Wash your hands off. Obviously, get soap and water. I'm just doing this for the video. Tighten up your shower toga. And now you are clean. You can go into your home with your family and feel more confident that you're not walking into your house contaminated. This can go in the washing machine. Don't put it in the dryer. Won't work. So when you get to your washing machine, all you're gonna do, walk up to your washing machine, take the toggle, open it up, take everything inside of it and dump it into the washing machine. And then take the shower toga and dump it into the washing machine as well. Take it out, shake it off, and it'll be ready for the next day. So if you're in a cold climate, remember, get the simple shower, fill it up with really warm or hot water. By the time you get home, you'll have a way to clean up. We've been doing this, do this uh, kind of support program now for a couple of months, and it's been crazy. Our code to go to our website is COVID, it's C-O-V-I-D. It's gonna give you 50% off everything on our website, and we're covering all the shipping right now. Um, we are continuing to do this through help from my partner, Mark Cuban, and with some other private donations. If you cannot afford the shower toga, even at the 50% off and the free shipping. You can email my team at showertoga at gmail.com. And as long as you go through the verification process, we will take care of you. We appreciate you so much. And thank you again for everything that you do to help keep us all safe and stocked and uh, make the best out of this really strange situation. Adios.